and SBL exam is not a plain <coughs> vanilla exam, we know, which we are very much used to. You know, it's a very different exam because he'll give you one case study and too many exhibits and, you know, questions being asked from anywhere, from any concept. And many of those concepts are real commonsensical ones, you know, wherein you really have to apply your uh, acumen over there and, of course, answer it there and then. So, you know, you're, you're, you're really bang on onto that. How has been your journey? <coughs> You know, I think that's that's something, you know, people will be very much interested in, in terms of, you know, how much time it took you to complete your SPL. Uh, it was great. Like I was uh, searching for classes and then through YouTube, I got your reference. And uh, like when I saw your content, it was like since you have had a lot of experience yourself. So it was really uh, I was very uh, amazed to, you know, have something very uh, nice on my way to SBL. Uh, then uh, I uh, took classes and then uh, with classes uh, I studied and uh, like it was a regular study starting off and then uh, the most important thing about the classes were the revision classes that helped me you know correlate everything into the syllabus and uh, uh, like uh, after like the revision classes you have those technical uh, articles session uh, also so like uh, if we go by the website of ACCA so uh, we, we would get lost uh, with technical articles which one is new which one is upcoming so the uh, advice like th these are trending like these are the new ones and you should uh, go about it like read those uh, focus on those so it was really helpful and since the uh, like uh, duration is also like very uh, apt like 30 minutes 25 minutes technical articles you can just have it on the go like even if you're working you can have it on your earphone and then you can listen to it and then it goes into your subconscious and how it works that way it really it it was amazing and it really helped me out and how much time it took you as in to complete the entire content you know and of course give exam and I'm, I'm sure you know you're you had a full-time job at your own hand so it's not going to be easy right for you any which ways uh, like I used to study uh, in the morning uh, two hours daily so around 50, uh, 100 hours of those lectures and uh, like I would uh, repeatedly listen to the classes even if I could not uh, make out time for study so I would repeatedly uh, go on listening to the classes uh, watch videos twice thrice so 100 hours of uh, listening to the videos watching that content, uh, content and like studies effectively since I had my APM done and uh, like all those papers I had practiced on pra uh, practice platform so it really helped me to you know figure out things and SBL is more of like everything uh, falls into one subject so uh, to correlate and to do everything so like attempting three papers before SBL really helped me out and then like 10 days of focus study I would say and then most important thing is to practice papers if you do not practice papers you are definitely going to flunk so I had this in mind that three papers at least before uh, exams I need to practice and I did that and no no denial on that and, and and you know you would have seen that I, I speak like you know like a broken record over here that you have to practice questions practice at least two to three past exam questions by your own hand in order to really have a grasp on it and that's what we also provide in our revision boot camp because in revision boot camp we have practiced a lot of past examination questions also giving you all the tips and tricks that you really need in terms of you know excelling in the exam and you're you know bang on saras i think what is very important is that you should certainly practice those those uh, exam standard questions or past exam questions just to ensure that you know you're not missing on in terms of you know how the exam would be when you would face over there 